Happy Tie Day! What? Mr. Highfield and I sporting their ties. Oh yeah. This is Mr. Highfield and the following is being recorded in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Take one. All right, welcome to... <laughs> He's cracking me up. <laughs> welcome to lesson two of Jump Rope. Uh, so uh, we're gonna today focus on stepping jumps. The last lesson we did hopping jumps. So before we move into today's focus, let's think about those um, hopping jumps where we did obviously your basic jump, we did it backwards, we did a frogger where you went down, we did the skier, uh, and we did the scissors. In step one today, it's a review step. You can do Anything that we did in the first lesson, uh, including including the crisscross, so you can do the crisscross, or I got two new ones for you if you want to try something new that we did not do in the last lesson for hop. There's the bell. It's kind of like a jumping jack. Your feet just go out and in as you're jumping. So the bell will look like this. And then there's also the speed jump. You guys at home, you did the speed jump. The face-to-face -face kids didn't have the opportunity. We ran out of time. So I'm giving you a chance to do the speed jump now. The speed jump, also known as power jump, or the double that means exactly its name the double the rope goes over you two times in one jump so you have to spin your hands very quickly so that the rope can make two rotations over your body obviously when you jump regular the rope is only going over you one time every jump but in a double or a power jump the speed is going to double. Whoa. And you'll actually hear it. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. As I said last time, we focus on hopping skills. Today, we're going to focus on stepping skills. So jumps that require just the step. Just like before, if you are a beginner, move slowly. There's nothing that says you have to spin that rope really fast. So move slow. So in this next step, we're going to take the rope over our head and step through it. <laughs> So you're just bringing your knees up one at a time. And then as you get better, you can step through and spin the rope faster. So it's like you're doing like a, a march, kind of like a fast march. So go for it. All right, next step. As you're doing a step, before I was stepping with both feet on the ground, both feet actually hitting the ground, every rotation of the rope. But now I want one foot to hit the ground on one rotation, then I make another rotation and then my other foot hits the ground. So instead of doing this, like in the last step, now one foot, so I have to pause a little bit. Unless I'm going faster, then one foot, one foot hits the ground every rotation. Wow. 
Once again, quiet on the set. All right, on this one, as you're stepping through, now instead of staying in one spot, you can move forward as you jump. So this one's called the bicycle because it kind of looks like you're on an invisible bicycle as you jump. So as I'm doing the step, now I can move forward. Just like I was on a bicycle. So as you guys move, make sure you're not moving towards something. Again, at home, you should be outside. So you're not moving towards a lamp or anything like that. You should be outside. Uh, you guys face to face, there's plenty of room here for you not to go towards another person. I don't want you to risk uh, getting whipped by somebody else's rope. So let's see your bicycles. <clears throat> quite on the, <clears throat> quite on the set. <clears throat> Take one. All right, this is called the can can. Instead of bringing your knees up, you're gonna out. Well, you're still gonna bring your knees up, but you're gonna kick your feet out as your knee comes up. So as you jump, your foot comes out, and again, as you as you're better. You can go faster, wow. but if wow. you're just beginning, you can do that rebound. Wow. Um, by the way, if you need a rebound, a rebound is just like a little tiny jump in between the rotation. You can see a lot of people when they do their can-can, they do a rebound. I'm doing a rebound right now because my foot that's not kicking out is hopping. Whereas now I'm not doing a rebound because I don't have time. Give it a shot. <clears throat> All right, quiet on the set. Take 10. <laughs> on this one, 10? Wow, that's a lot of mess ups. Uh, on this one, it's like a booty kick where your feet, instead of going out, now your feet are coming back and trying to uh, kick your booty. So as you jump one foot at a time So it's not not at the same time. That would be more of a hop uh, and a weird one at that So basically this is the motion you're going to be doing as the rope is going around you. So let's see what I got here Last step, see, put on the timer and see how long you can last without messing up. Can you go over a minute? Can you jump over two minutes? What? How long can you go without messing up? fun thing for when Mr. Wilmot is doing his videos for the kids at home. So when my arm goes straight out, I want everyone to say, ooh. When my arm goes straight up, it's an ah. And then when I do the quiet koala, it means nice and quiet, okay? Are we ready? Look at Mr. Tom Liu. He has no idea I'm recording him. I just taught him how to do the 
backwards jump. Looking good, Mr. Tom Lou. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Is the water cold? <laughs>